No finger marks on the knife blades, please. At Morrison's Hotel... Mr. Nobbs? She prefers roses. Lilies make her sneeze. The service is impeccable. What sweet roses, Nobbs. Man, such a kind little man. The staff... Now, drinks. Albert? ...is outstanding. I've been taking that... Hey, Genevieve Lowe, your flick chick from today's newspaper. It's got Oscar bait written all over it. Anyone can see why an actress would want the challenge of playing a woman who is forced by circumstance to live her life as a man in 19th century Ireland. Based on a short story by Irish writer George Moore, which later became a play, five-time Oscar nominee Glenn Close starred, wrote and co-produced this labour of love she nurtured for 15 years. What's your name? Albert. Your real name? Albert. You don't have to be anything but who you are. Look at how you survived. I was a tad disappointed that it didn't quite really further explore class and gender inequality, as well as cross-dressing issues. Perhaps the lack of a more defining backstory made it hard to invest in Nob's difficult life and feel for her, even when Maya Wesikowska and Aaron Dawson, both commendable, threatens to destroy everything she's worked so hard to build after 30 years of keeping up the charade. Close's Oscar-nominated performance is impenetrable, guarded and cloistered, which some might argue is unreaching in performance and unworthy of the best actress norm. But for me, it somehow translates into the appropriate stillness, fearfulness and longing that a repressed character leading a love double life calls for. And she pushes through in spite of the mummified bad makeup and prosthetic work. There's something I have to tell you. He won't take you to America. He'll leave you here. I'll take care of you. Why just to me? The standout here, though, is Jan Janet McTeer, who was nominated for the Best Supporting Oscar herself. McTeer is also a woman living as a man, and she crackles with intelligence and inner strength. Close comes to life in her scenes opposite McTeer, livening up Rodrigo Garcia's mostly humorless direction throughout this solemn, slow-moving melodrama. Overall, though, slow, this is an affecting portrait of female sexual repression that manages to sneak up on the audience to reveal that beneath its button-up print surface, there are still things, however long-suffering, left to discover. Three bags of popcorn. Drinks. Albert? Is outstanding.